The Costa Favalosa is nearing the end of a successful maiden voyage, but she isn't home just yet. Trouble on board is about to be exposed. Undercover critics could rock the boat. I've got no respect for you. And the dancers will soon lose their choreographer, leaving them to perform on their own for the first time. It is an issue. They're going to get through it somehow. It's really scary. Performances, fresh and fire. All uncovered in this episode of Cruise Ship Diaries. The Costa Favalosa has left Istanbul and is on her way to Mykonos. With just a few days left of her maiden voyage, the entertainment team has turned things up a notch. Guests usually want to squeeze the most out of the tail end of a cruise. At the helm of the onboard entertainment is cruise director Andrea Olivieri. He was hand-picked to host these opening cruises and is known in the business as the Magic Man. It's not really up to me to say if I'm the Magic Man or not. I'm just uh, doing what I can do the best way I can. Known for his ability to magic something out of nothing, tonight Andrea is pushing harder than usual. He's received a tip-off that there are some mystery shopper guests on board. Undercover critics are evaluating his entertainment department. It is a tricky situation uh, because uh, you always need to be careful of what you're saying, how you move, what you're, where you're going, because you never know. Everybody wants to make the right impression. Lovely. You want the person that's going to write the critiques to see you in a professional way. Hi, how are you? We're using uh, unusual tools, uh, performing unusual dances. Uh, I hope it works. I hope it really works. Right now, Andrea has made sure that there is some sort of entertainment on every guest deck. He has placed an all-new acrobatics act on stage and has the dancers displaying their other talents outside the dining room. Tonight we're doing restaurant photos. Basically, when the guests come out after their meal, they just get a chance to have a picture with the dancers. We do, do tend to get groped by some passengers, but <laughs> apparently it's all part of the wait. <laughs> 25 euros. While the dancers continue with their duties, Gerald, their choreographer, is preparing for his final wrap-up. His role is to install the new shows on board, but then move on. He will disembark soon, and he is not convinced this cast can go it alone just yet. I'm leaving. That's when things fall apart. Some people still struggle with the discipline, and there's going to be problems. Devon. Listen, yeah, can you please tell me what time uh, we can get a theatre? There's, um, there's a couple of stuff I need to clear up and clean up because it's quite messy. OK, ciao, ciao. The extra pressure of the undercover entertainment critics has upped the stakes. It's a non-negotiable late-night rehearsal for all. Gerald will no doubt be unpopular with the cast. I'm not here to be your friend. I don't have to go to dinner with you. I don't have to go to the disco with you. I'm here to do a job, and that's the most important thing that I'm here for. He can make people crumble, that man. You f***ed up every number in the show. Pack your bags and go. He can come across as a scary, you know, maybe vicious, I don't know. Melissa! You're a 29-year-old woman, 
and you don't know what you're doing on stage. Brainless people, I'm not going to take. He only shouts at people and screams at them to get the best out of them, and he really does get the best out of people. But I cannot have you in a show with your brains not on the stage. If you go and you're a person that actually really don't care, I've got no respect for you. Mainly in this business, I don't. And people have said to me, oh, you're hard, you're this. I'm hard for one reason, because you don't respect what you're doing. Oh, no, man, I cannot go through this. The dancers are late for the rehearsal. Maybe they were told, like, I don't know what time. It's crazy. They are delayed by some emergency shopping in the onboard boutique. Gerald's birthday is coming up. We are shopping for Gerald's birthday. We're looking for a present for Gerald. And he's quite a tea drinker, so we find a tea set. Mud, the hand. Tea, yes, he's obsessed with tea. I think it calms him, I don't know. <laughs> Magical tea. Can you please try my card? Four sure. zero four two nine. Well, let's give him my card, baby. Yeah, I need to check my card. Do you have a card with you? No. Linda? It's not warming up. I can't have three people carrying the show. So, three times thirteen. <laughs> what's, what's three times 13? I just added up 39. 26, 36, 39. 39, that's what's it. Oh, that's what's it. You just say nothing. Yeah, we were looking for the dancers. Andrea will watch the rehearsal tonight. Can't use the uh, silk because it's in the other show, right? No, we can't do the silk because the silk is in the eye show. In the eye show. With undercover critics on board, there's a lot at stake, and Gerald's looming departure is bad timing. It is an issue, but they know what they have to do. I mean, my job is to evaluate what is the final result, if the audience enjoys it or not. I'm not there to say kick higher or stretch more. Okay, let's stick to this okay. Okay. schedule as we'll it is. We'll get it up tempo. I'll give you the name of the song. Sorry, okay, it's not a problem. Time. As long as you're fine with that, I'm fine. You are not on that stage. You're late. You guys are late. You're late. Dances that works hard, that is my passion. You try your best to say, okay, I'm leaving. Try your best. They're going to do what they want to do. You know, you, we can't control everybody. You can only give them the advice and then hope for the best. So, thank you. Where's Rene? Go and sleep. The other ones have happy no, duties. He found me quite scary. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. After finishing rehearsals after 1am, the dancers are up with the rest of the crew for a 7.30 regulation safety drill. It's a fantastic uh, school of discipline, self-discipline. And if you have a bad day, it has to remain in your cabin when you wake up in the morning. The lifeboat drill and the abandoned ship drill is more important than you can imagine. It is very important, and we have stressed to them, you have to do your safety, you have to take care. Then they also have some tests that they have to go to, because if they didn't know what to do in case of an emergency, they could be disembarked. And, you know, to lose a dancer in a show or two, it's not like losing a waiter or anyone else. Pronto. Andrea hasn't had any news from head office regarding feedback from the undercover critics. They're usually quick to report any faults. In our business, no news is good news. So as long as they don't have a complaint, we are all happy. So we are doing good. But he can't afford to drop the ball now. He's asked the chefs to prepare a spectacular buffet for guests. Gerald has one final rehearsal with the cast before the big show. He will disembark when the ship docks in Venice. 
Unlike Gerald, the dancers will be living on board for months. I share a cabin with Lauren, who's one of my best friends. I've worked for, with her for three contracts now. She's also from England. It is very pink. We try to make it as homey as possible. And so as it pink as possible. It doesn't feel like you're just living in a metal electrical box. <laughs> not prison, it's our pink paradise. It's our pink paradise. Well, Obviously, family and friends, I miss them a lot. Um, you start to miss, like, silly things like food, like, oh, I really want fish and chips today, and you can't have it, or, like, a roast dinner. The English flag representing the UK. You, you get used to it very quickly. You just kind of ignore it. <laughs> no time to think about luxuries right now. Gerald will be waiting backstage for the final rehearsal. What do you want me to do? You guys want me to come in here and smile and be nice? You've got to get out there and be with it. The pigs are also feeling the heat. The first part of the cooking process is now complete. Time for seasoning, then back in the oven to continue roasting. Andrea has been told that some musicians abandoned the lounges early during their night, leaving guests without any entertainment. This isn't the first time this problem has come up. Be more responsible for what we're doing. To leave a, a full lounge uh, still with a lot of people, uh, and it was a bit disappointing and very sincere. The musicians have complained that because they sweat so heavily when performing, they need to change several times per night but are only allowed to hand in four items of laundry on certain days of the week, leaving them without any clean shirts before the end of their shifts. Hi, sir. Where's the laundry master, please? So they have three days, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yeah. The only thing is they say that they, are, uh, they need more than four items for the thing because they use the, mm -hmm. the clothes more than that. I mean, they really play hard, they sweat. It's very tight. They need more. Is there any chance? Maybe how many pieces? That Six, very would it be possible? Six? Yeah, I try my best to get the five pieces for each person. And out. This is Gerald's last chance to give the dancers guidance. When they perform next, he won't be in the wings. Is it when you're soft now? An alarm interrupts the rehearsal. It's a fire alarm activated down in the engine room. All cameras are chased out of the technical areas. Please. Nobody will confirm what is going on. The alarm has been silenced. It's a draw. It's a fire. The alarm was set off by an overheating incinerator component during a routine test. A fire at sea is a cruise ship's biggest nightmare. It's protocol to be on high alert at all times. The panic is over, and it's back to business. It's supposed to be all right. Yeah, okay, that's fine. But it was good, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would have been. I believe in doing the job, do it to my best, to the best I can, and then if it doesn't come out to be the best, I've tried. With the mystery entertainment critics on board, Andrea has requested the performers try something a little different tonight. Before the show, we go upstairs and go through the lounges and like play with the passengers, act and stuff, and we're trying to lure them into the theatre to come watch the show. It was a bit daunting because there's so many people around and you feel a bit silly. Go 
George. Go. Stand by 30 seconds. So I have to go to go down the pit. See you later. Showtime. Vai con lo stacchetto. Time to see if the dancers can pull the show off without Gerald in the wings. seems to be a hit with the audience. Just congratulations, which were uh, enough to say, okay, we are on the right side. Preparation for the Grand Brunch Buffet is underway. It's time for the pigs to make their appearance, along with the rest of the dishes prepared for the grand bruncheon. I have to drink a beer at 11 o'clock in the morning, oh my goodness. I normally should be there half an hour in advance to see that everything is organized properly, but this morning, no way. So I'm just guessing it's okay and crossing fingers. <laughs> is approaching Mykonos, known as the party capital of the Med. Guests usually head straight to the beaches for wild sunset dance parties and a chance to really let loose. This will hopefully give the onboard entertainment team some much needed downtime. I found a song. What? It's called Waterloo. Gerald has been spreading the birthday cheer. Yeah, it's another birthday, so I'm getting a bit closer to that 5 0. I want you to have on stage. You should be on stage. So, as I can get up, I can walk, I can go to the theatre, and I can dance. <laughs> Gerald was impressed by their performance in the show, and he's given the dancers the day off in Mykonos. Looking forward to getting off, walking around a bit. But something a bit normal. <laughs> people are tired and people are frustrated and people, when they get a chance to just let their hair down, things are going to get wild. Mykonos is renowned for offering cruise ship staff some escapism. The dancers dive right in.
Andrea has organised for entertainment in the dining room so that the dancers can take some time to celebrate Gerald's birthday. <laughs> He comes across as this big, scary man, but really, he's, he's a little puppy, I think. He's got a heart of gold. He's really sweet. The Favolosa has reached the end of her maiden voyage, but this is only the beginning. <laughs> We're not here to be sleep. <laughs> Dilemmas and divas, discipline and death, all complicate the journey ahead. I don't know what happened in this ship. On the next episode of Cruise Ship Diaries. <laughs>